the Tech and Innovation Summit and Entrepreneur Awards 2021 will be the biggest congregation of tech entrepreneurs with over 20 sessions across six stages, including deep tech, consumer tech, fintech, smart societies, health tech, and more. Well, the title partner for the Tech and Innovation Summit 2021 is NeoCred. NeoCred Power is those daring to enable their businesses with the best of payments, whether it is a co-branded card or payouts, we tend to take the road less traveled and enable ease of banking compliances with us so that you are on board quickly. While the event is supported by the Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology, Government of India and the Department of Science and Technology. And the event is hosted by Entrepreneur India. We're powered by our partners, Akamai and Cartmax, and our co-associate partner is Accenture. Our session partners are CoinSwitch, Sugarbox, and Rajdeep Traders. Our event partner is Hubido. And we've also received tremendous support from FIKI, Indian Angel Network, and Bosni, which is the World Association for Small and Medium Enterprises. A big thank you to all our sponsors and partners for their association and support. Well, we would also request our delegates to keep posting questions through the Q&A option. We will try and answer most of the questions by our esteemed speakers in lieu of the time given to them. With this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I would now like to invite, and it's an honor always, to have Ms. Ritu Maria, Editor-in-Chief, Entrepreneur Media, India and Asia Pacific, and Franchise India, to give the welcome note. Thank you so much, Ms. Maria, for joining us with this statement. And a very good morning to uh, everybody out there who's attending, who's joined us for the Tech and Innovation Summit 2021 this year. Uh, we're uh, looking forward to a wonderful two days of this event uh, together and learning more about technology and how technology is going to change our world in the coming few years, as it already has in the last few years, much more so than years before that. So I think technology particularly has the power to really change the world. And I think we are witnessing it uh, more than anybody else. Um, and I think the pandemic has probably sort of put the nail hard in the ground to say that, you know, technology is here to stay. And it is time that we started adopting it in every aspect of our life, regardless of our age and regardless of the education we may or may not have. So I think uh, in one sense, if you really look at it, we are really blessed that technology has been here with us, um, the, you know, the, the science uh, that has helped develop things to make our lives easier. It has also given us goals to rethink our daily um, bearings. You know, uh, the way we want to live is now possible, unlike earlier when we were, when we had certain set fixed kind of uh, systems with which we work for. Now, everything is becoming much more dynamic and we can now um, plan our dynamic selves in today's life through technology. Now, you know, just, just as a case in point, imagine if we were all stuck in the pandemic, sitting at home and there was no technology around us. Can you just begin to imagine a world like that? You know, how would we educate our children? Um, they would pro practically be out of schools for now close to an year and a half. There would have been no way to do that. Even if with all the homeschooling and all other tools we may have at hand, it seriously would have been a big problem. Imagine, you know, we have elders at home and if they need, they cannot go to a doctor during the pandemic, how are we going to ever treat them? We, our lives would have got seriously upended unless there was the science and technology to support us during the pandemic. So this is really, and this does not need to be a situation created by the pandemic alone. This can be a reality of our lives where we can make our lives easier through science and technology. And we're going to take a very holistic view in the next few day, uh, couple of days today and tomorrow um, to understand how technology and science is going to impact pretty much every aspect of our life, how it's going to impact our society, how it is going to impact our work, how it is going to impact the way we buy, we shop, how it is going to impact the way we deal with monies, how it's going to impact you know, um, the way we uh, uh, manage our health. So we are taking a very holistic view of how technology is going to touch every, every aspect of our life in a big or a small way, and we should be really, really ready for it. I think what we have seen and the impact of technology is probably still 
very early days. And I think the further innovation and what to, technology will give us in 2025 is really when we will see the blossoming effect of technology in our lives. I mean, uh, just as a case in point, I can tell you that probably by 2025, you'll not be planning a vacation in Switzerland. You'll probably be thinking of space, going to space for a, for a holiday. So things are going to look certainly very different uh, going forward. And I think those are the days we are really waiting for once we're, of course, out of the pandemic and free to move around. Um, so I would suggest that, you know, the next two days, you should make the most of it. Please feel free to ask questions. Please feel free to hold discussions with fellow panel, uh, with uh, your fellow attendees. Um, talk to our people in our, um, uh, you know, in the exposition area. Uh, and feel free to make most of your time um, network, uh, meet and um, meet and greet people, uh, everybody you can. There is something to be learned here in the next two days by everybody, and I think you should make the most of it. Um, as I uh, sort of welcome you to the Tech and the Innovation Summit, I would also take a minute to tell you a little more about our initiative of the magazine, which is the Tech 25 list that we present year on year. And this year, uh, we have some really, really good uh, um, entrepreneurs who are truly building the current and the future technologies featured in this list and they certainly have the potential to change our lives in a very big way. Um, so we can, I think, uh, on the cover page we have actually featured the founder of Zoho, Shridhar Vembu. Um, I think he's practically running a many billion dollars tech company from a village, which is his home village, and he's managing thousands of people and a global business around the world. I think not just his business of tech, but his way of living and the way he has chosen his life is an example today, uh, you know, about how businesses can be run and how technology can actually be used in a very, very proper way to change our lives and help us live the life we want um, and do what we want while still being able to run a billion dollar global company. So um, just to give you a glimpse of what our Tech 25 looks like, I'm going to leave you with this short video about how the editorial team has selected and put forward um, the top, top Tech uh, 25 entrepreneurs this year in the class of 2021. Um, some of them will be also speaking uh, during the course of the two days. So I think the next two days is going to be today and tomorrow is going to be brilliant. We have some amazing lineup of speakers who totally are sitting uh, are give, and are going to give us a view of how technology is really going to change the world. So please make the most of your time and let me leave you with this short video to give you a glimpse of what the Tech 25 class of 2021 for entrepreneur looks like. Can we have the video please? much again for joining us and wish you a wonderful today and tomorrow as we learn together at the Tech Indo Innovation Summit.